Okay, so now I'm just gonna move my frame to the side while we cut 12 pieces of deco mesh at 20 inches. So it's really important to have, when you're cutting, um, it's, it's best to use a rotary cutter and you can get those at Amazon. You can get them anywhere you want, all over. I think they have them at Hobby Lobby and Joann's and Michael's. So I'm gonna cut these at 20 inches, but first I wanna get a clean edge to start off with. I like, I like these, this one, because it locks. So you don't accidentally, somebody doesn't accidentally grab it or something, like a kid or yourself and cut yourself because these are very sharp. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a clean edge. And these mats, you can get them um, at this, as the same places at the craft stores on Amazon and just make sure you get a self healing mat. So the cuts kind of go away and don't show. Okay. So I have a clean edge. I'm going to cut these at 20 inches and I'm going to cut 12 of them. And I guess you can't see, I'm just over here cutting. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these, make sure I have it at 20 inches over here. And just watch your fingers. And then the piece, you can just slide it over to the side and it will just curl. Go back to 20 again. Oops, I forgot to put it through the little slot. So this little handy mesh holder is from Susie's Wreaths and Things, and she sells this on Etsy. It is a nice little tool if you cut mesh a lot, which I do. So, okay, I'm gonna pull it again to the 20. It kind of holds your, your mesh in place. inches okay that's three I'm gonna cut 12 of these total I'll do one more and then I'll I'll come back after I cut the rest. Okay, that's four. Okay, I'm gonna cut some more to total 12 and I'll be back. 